Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the new column called Metal Matrix. And in this column, we are going to talk about getting different corridor variations by just moving your fingers slightly up and down the fretboard. Um, check it out. <laughs> All right, so remember that this riff was basically born out of me moving particular shapes around the guitar, and I went along with a part if it sounded good to me musically to my ears. So the, the bottom line of it is that this riff is about having fun, about having um, a good melody while you play it versus thinking of, you know, what kind of a C major chord you might be playing, okay? And, um, and that's it, man. So uh, let me show you what's happening in this. I start this, uh, this particular motif right here on the A chord, and just so you guys remember, this whole entire guitar riff happens only on strings three and four with a open A strings for the pedal tones, okay? So everything's gonna be happening right in the middle of your guitar. Okay, I start, this is the first things I play when I start this riff. Right, so I go. And you can play as much or little of that A string uh, bleeding into, especially the, the second little section. You could do a little bit dirtier. So it's up to you to really paint I call it the, uh, the image of this particular riff. Moving to the next section, I have something that looks like this, which is basically like a G major chord. Right, so it all just kind of goes down the fretboard of your guitar and you're basically moving these little inversions. And then I have something like this, right? Something uh, it's very cool. I, I bounce it off the open A string. So we have. Then I go back to the same exact thing. And I finish it off with these particular four chords. And I really love this those last two chords because it gives you like a suspense sound. Right, that kind of totally brings out that late 80s US power metal stuff, which, uh, which you guys know I love. Okay. So the next section of this chord, I do um, two note melodic little section. And I play it, I play them a little bit more uh, dirty, a little less isolated. So again, I'll play them for you slow. And then I go back into a, uh, a fourth power chord. I'll play that again.
and I play the whole thing exactly from the beginning as well. Okay, so to execute this example, you have a few picking choices that you can incorporate. I found out for me the sound that I like the most and sound that really kept the, the riff popping, those power chords popping out of your guitar, is basically all, all down picking, which means that you guys are going to really kind of work hard on getting that A string and the, and the chord variations um, executed. But I'll show you, I'll play it a little quick for you so you could see that all the little work that happens here and make sure to see as well notice that it's all down picks so it's a lot of lot of wood chopping right there all right so it's pretty quick and you got to make sure that all those things happen right in time now there's another way of playing it, and I'm not sure if there's any particular style or uh, musical slant to it, but it's something that you can pop those chords with a little more of an upstroke. And, and it's not necessarily better or worse, um, it's got a little different of a final product, as I like to call it. Check this out, I'll play it a little bit slower so you could see what I'm doing. <laughs> So the chords just sound different because you're attacking them from the top of the note versus the bottom. And now watch, I'm gonna go back to the original one. To my ears, the one when you down pick sounds a little more heavy metal, a little more tight versus um, versus the other one, but really you guys do whatever you want. Good luck.